Uh, until recently, there was little uh, motivation to do rehabilitation after stroke. There was really just no scientific basis uh, that gave us hope that we could uh, induce some type of recovery in the brain after a stroke occurred. And, and then a few years ago, you know, scientists looking at other animals uh, discovered something which to us was you know, quite remarkable, which is that new brain cells actually can grow in damaged areas, something called neurogenesis. It was something that uh, none of us thought ever happened in the brain, and when that was discovered, all of a the sudden there was this tremendous uh, amount of activity in rehabilitation because we said, oh my God, if new brain cells can grow, let's figure out you know, how to stimulate that and, and get people to recover. So uh, there were two approaches. Uh, one was to directly stimulate the brain on the surface with either magnetic stimulation or electrical stimulation. And that was one approach which, which seemed to stimulate the growth of new connections, new brain cells. And the other was to stimulate what we call the end organ, the periphery. So if your hand is paralyzed and you passively stimulate the hand by repetitive motion, and that's what the robots do, then, then there's a retrograde stimulation that occurs. Somehow, we don't fully understand that something works its way back up the nervous system, back to the brain, and then stimulates the brain to make new connections in that fashion. And then if you actually can combine both the robotic stimulation of the hand as well as electrical stimulation of the brain itself, then, then potentially you could have a really you know, robust type of recovery, uh, which we haven't seen uh, uh, before. So the robotic therapies, which we're actively using now, in fact, in preliminary studies, have shown just that. You can take a person who had a stroke even a couple of years ago, reach their point of maximum recovery, and even years later, treat them with the robotic device, and even years later, the person will show improvement above and beyond where they went years earlier. Uh, and uh, our investigators have shown that the brain itself shows some evidence of recovery, and, and it's probably, I think, again, stimulating new nerve cells to grow and develop. Uh, as a result of the stimulation uh, through the robotic device. So we're very excited about, about this new therapy. I think it's really just the start of a whole new way of, of doing rehabilitation uh, and shows you know, tremendous promise.